but this is an ultra-modern car with a lot of power. So yes, we were able to introduce some of the, reintroduce some of the issues like this iconic hood bulge is on the 240, but it has very graceful forms around it, expressing the, the power and the, the silky power within. You cannot make a, a Z without the, the scooped out headlamp. And actually, we, we thought about how to make the headlamp feel like tomorrow, but also invoke some memories. And what we, we took inspiration from the special version that came out a couple of years later, where they, they put a clear lens on the 240 and that actually in the sunlight, the reflections in that around the, the car broke the pure circle of the headlamp into two. And we thought, this is it. This is how we're gonna do it. So we did ultra modern technology, but at the same time feeling like the 240. And to be inspired by the, the memories, the parting line, the hood, the cheekbones, all must create the grill. The grill is not an artificial element, it's the result of things that uh, around it. So at a glance, we wanted this long bonnet and this Z type of low slung cabin silhouette. And one of the key points on that is that as you get up close to the car, the, the volumes, the, the hood bulge and the fender must be higher than the trailing edge of the roof line, which you see here. And uh, as soon as with engineering and, and our design team, we were able to capture that, you know, right away we started to feel that yes, we have something here. And naturally, because our engineers, even in the beginning, were telling us, giving us hints about, uh, you know, how this, this car would really run, we wanted this low center of gravity. Luckily, the roof line gave us that, but then we introduced the katana sword and also this, this lovely sculptural crease line that is also tapering down, which allowed this car to feel like a cat that was ready to pounce. These have been about performance. Yes, they're beautiful, but they're wonderful things to drive. So um, what we did here is that we took the purposefulness of the 240 and wrapped it around the body. So when you get into the, the proto, you will feel the car is, is part of you. All the elements are right at your eye level. So as you're driving, you can keep your eyes on the road. And we've introduced modern era things. We have a full digital meter. And of course, we have our information uh, in the center. But everything is organized horizontally and has a purposeful beauty to it. So these are some of the things that we'll have much more time to talk about a little later. So as I mentioned, the roof line tapering back and this cut off rear end, which is very 240. But about 31 years ago, my first trip to Japan, uh, I opened the studio door. I just joined Nissan and 300Z was a clay model in the studio. And actually I wanted to go home and restart my life because that was so modern, I, I couldn't believe it. So naturally, some of these sensual, simple elements and this sense of high tech is very much three, 300. But in the, the Proto, we use the, the capsule element from 300, but of course it's an edge lit LED to give you this again, this sense of tomorrow. 40 had a yellow, my one, wonderful 300 had a yellow. Um, but at, the, at the 30 years ago, the technologies with the paint uh, really created a situation where the designers had to desaturate the yellow for the 300Z. Using modern technologies, we were able to add pearl and add these technologies of modern day and keep the yellow. So when you see this car go outside, this color comes to life in an amazing manner. So um, really happy to walk around this with you today. And um, I know we'll have some, some more time to talk in detail, but uh, I really want to thank you for, for being lovers of Z and supporting us all the time. So thanks a lot. Thank you.